Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. I wanted to make a quick tutorial on how you can fake a reflection in Photoshop. It's a technique that I use a lot and have been using a lot recently in a lot of my Instagram photos. So I was like, hey, why not make a quick tutorial on it? Because it literally takes like a couple of minutes to do. So I'll start off with the image in Lightroom and then I'll give it a quick color grade. Once you've color graded the image, then you can crop it. So crop for Instagram or whatever you're gonna be using the image for. And then you wanna just open it in Photoshop. And so once the image is opened in Photoshop, you want to select the rectangular marquee tool and select the part of the image that you want to reflect. I'd probably choose the part of the image where the water begins. So just about there, I think. Yep. And then you want to hit Command J. So what that'll do is it'll create a new layer based on your selection. So once that's done, you want to click the move tool and then go command T and that's going to bring up the transform tool and over here where it says height 100% you want to just go minus 100 which will flip your image and you can just bring it down and then you want to go exactly where the water is about to begin so just about there and as you can see the reflection doesn't look real at all so what you want to do now is you want to add some motion blur. So you go filter and then you want to go blur, motion blur. And you can see here that it looks a bit more like a reflection now. The angle, I usually just leave it as to what it is. But the distance, this is where you can play around with how much motion blur you want in your image. So I usually leave it around 45-ish, um, but you can add more blur, less blur, whatever you think suits your image best. But yeah, that is pretty much it. So that's all you need to do to fake your reflection. One thing that I did wanna um, point out to you guys though, is say you wanna select a part of the image that isn't just a rectangle, then you can use the polygon lasso tool um, or the lasso tool. So the polygon lasso tool is usually good when you wanna select just a part of an image that you wanna reflect. So say if I just, I don't know, make a random triangle in the sky, a part of an image, then you can use the polygon lasso tool. So it doesn't necessarily always have to be the rectangular marquee tool, but again, it depends on what you're trying to reflect in your image. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that quick tutorial. I'll be doing more tutorials like this. If you guys want to see any more Photoshop tutorials or Lightroom tutorials on anything specific, then let me know in the comments down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, maybe consider liking and subscribing. But with that all said and done, I will see you in the next one.